These days, people are turning away from traditional coffee to decaffeinated options instead, even in the case of posh coffee like this one. And that's because some of them think that it is a healthier option. But is it? The first thing to look into is how decaf coffee is made. There have been reports in the media claiming that some of the methods used to remove the caffeine involve substances that are actually bad for us. All decaffeination methods start with this, the green or unroasted coffee bean. Most methods use water to get the caffeine out of the bean. Then a chemical solvent is often used to get the caffeine out of the water. The solvent is then removed and the remaining water is dried off. There are two possible chemical solvents that can be used in this process, both of them technically speaking toxic, but by the time the process is complete, they're found at such vanishingly low levels that they are below the European regulated safe limit. But to avoid any solvents, there are other methods that some manufacturers use to remove the caffeine. One alternative uses a charcoal filter. Another uses carbon dioxide at extremely high pressures. So you can choose solvent-free coffee if you want, but there's not any evidence that it's actually healthier. Now, coffee aficionados will tell you at great length, of course, that the method used to decaffeinate the coffee can affect the taste. So if you really worry about these things, then I would be guided by your taste buds and don't sweat about the methods used to produce the coffee. There is, however, something else that you should be aware of if you're thinking of going decaf. Your decaf may not contain any chemical nasties, but you might be surprised to know that it probably does contain some caffeine. A 2006 study conducted in Florida found that nine out of the 10 decafs they tested had at least some caffeine in them. So the two-shot decaf latte that you're drinking might contain as much caffeine as a can of Coke. For most of us, though, if you're worried about what your daily cuppa is doing to your health, there's something other than caffeine you might want to think about. A cup of black coffee is virtually calorie-free. Add milk and sugar, goes up to around 50 calories. But by the time you're looking at one of these, a giant mocha latte, it can be up to 500 calories, the same as a big burger or a large piece of cake. So caffeinated or not, you can enjoy a small cup with an easy conscience, but treat this as a treat.